Electronics. Modal Electronics. Hi. It's funny, we have to travel three and a half thousand miles to meet each other when we are actually... <laughs> Only about 30 miles apart. Many. But <laughs> This is a big show for you. You've got a lot of new stuff, right? Yeah, we've got a lot of new stuff here for this show, and it's a, it's a very big show for us today. So let's have a look. Okay. Well, one of the first things we've got here, we got, we're going into the Eurorack stuff. So we've got a range of Eurorack modules. We've got the uh, oscillator module from the 002 range. We've got the filter from the 002 range. We've also got the filter from the 008 and the oscillator from the 008. We're also bringing out a little utility module so that you can take your uh, sync from your modular into your MIDI into your door or from your door into your modular or any sort of combination thereof. And does that solve that clocking problem that everybody always moans about? I, I hope so. I mean, everybody seems to complain about this issue with syncing between MIDIs and doors and modulars, so we're hoping this is the, the, the sort of utility tool that covers it all. Wow. So. Um... The oscillators, are these NCOs from the uh, yep, double they're NCOs. we got the same waveforms, the same D-Res buttons. You get the same sub-oscillator output. You can put the sub-wave on it. Uh, and you can also switch them into an LFO mode. And they've got really pretty displays on them. Yeah, they've got this it's white on black displays. Can you make them move around? Yeah, we can change it. If I change the waveform, there you go. They're running a little bit slow at the moment because they're prototypes. They will run a lot faster when it comes to updating the display. So, yeah, you've got... All the waveforms there. Have you got, um, can we have a listen? Yeah, so we got, at the moment, we got the 001 here, sequencing via MIDI some stuff from uh, Studio Electronics. We've also got the CV outs controlling some bits and pieces on the modular here. So there's a bit of everything going on in each way in every direction. So if I start this, the easiest thing is just to play with the filters. <laughs> So it's still got that kind of quite yeah. crunchy. We got we got the drive knob here, and we got the same slope knob as well. So you can go between four one pole low pass, band pass there, and the four pole low pass there. So and that's all CV and, controllable and as well. What, what's, what's going through that? Is that the is that just the uh, the NCOs or is that some other stuff? At the moment, Luca made this patch, so I obviously have no idea at all. I believe. <laughs> There's uh, a mixture of everything going through everywhere. Uh, this, this is the only NCO that's patched through at the moment. Enter in and then, out, the sawtooth. and then into a mixer. Yeah, there. so I think at the moment we're taking waveforms from here and audio from the 001 and putting it through the filters. So, so these guys, obviously, early days, yeah. uh, you're looking to... This is a quite a big step. Yeah, I mean, we, we had a few people interested in saying, well, could we have a 002 filter module, and could we do this, and could we do that, and we ummed and ahed. And it wasn't until really the last two, three months we had quite a lot of requests for modular stuff. So we thought, eh, if people want it, let's do it. So uh, I'm guessing the fact that the uh, 008 modules aren't patched up probably means they're not quite there yet, right? They're not quite there yet, but everything should be there by March. <laughs> and what sort of price point are you trying to get with we're, this guy's We're aiming for everything to be under $300. Okay. So, Wow, okay, yeah. that's impressive. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a challenge. So but yeah, how we're... much would it cost to effectively make a double OA out of your right modules? Oh, it's... You've got to make that... It's <laughs> going to cost a lot more. <laughs> okay, right, just check. I mean, if the, if the filters are $300 a piece, you've got eight of them. It's... Yeah, okay, no, that's fair enough. <laughs> Pardon my mistake. Yeah. So that's really exciting. And you're, um, did you say when you were hoping to have them ready? Or are you still... Yeah, we're hoping to have uh, pretty much everything ready March. So yeah, we're, we're just waiting for confirmation of prices from the uh, places where they build them and supply lines and those kind of things. So, so the problem is, is once you start with your uh, modular, certainly as a user, it's impossible to stop. Yeah. How about as a designer? Uh, it's a different challenge uh, and it's, it's quite an interesting challenge. There's a, there's a world of difference between doing a great big polysynth and doing little modules. It's no less of a challenge, it's just different. I guess you've got the limitations of the volts, the, the currency you can yeah, use. Yeah, I mean, the advantage with the, with the polysynth, in, in a way, is everything's enclosed, so you've got full control over it. With a modular, the, the challenge is you don't know what someone's going to plug in and what someone's going to do. So, you know, it's, it's, it's horses for courses, really. Thank you very much, Paul. No worries. Good to see you again. Award-winning customer service. Fast, free shipping on most orders. Own the gear of your dreams today.